Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and today I'm gonna to show you the easy way to integrate Facebook Live reaction polls into your streams. Now, as you know, we live stream to YouTube on Facebook or on Fridays and Facebook on Mondays. One of the reasons why we do that is because when you're gonna use Facebook Live reaction polls, which is a great way to boost engagement and also prompt your audience for information on how they feel about a given subject, you really wanna live stream exclusively to Facebook so your entire audience can participate in the poll that you're live streaming to. So that's kind of the strategy that we've been taking is exclusivity on our live streams to a given platform, which I suggest to any of you out there who are doing live streaming. And um, today I want to show you why live reaction polls are such a great way to do it. And Last week we showed you how to use your own server using the API and actual HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code, which is fairly simple. We tried to make it as easy as possible. And we still have a Facebook Live Reaction Kit you can download below to get all of the emojis and everything you're going to need to use even this system as well. But this system, Live Reaction Poll, Live Reactions Poll.com, is a Facebook Live Reaction system that's completely cloud-based. You don't need a server. It's the easiest easiest way to do Facebook Live Reactions and we're actually sponsoring this company to help them provide this service and uh, you can there's a little donate button the developers from Pakistan he's a really great guy and what I want to do is I want to show you guys first an example of what Facebook Live Reactions are in case you didn't see our other videos and then I want to show you uh, how easy it is to use this cloud-based system so first of all here is an example I'm gonna hit play here um, and show you guys what this looks like. This was a live show that we did last week, and you can see we have a question in our Facebook Live prompt, and we've asked the audience to either say like or love to that question. Let me just scroll back a little bit here, and you can see we had nine people uh, love to, to say that they prefer software automation, and we had 10 people use the ha ha emoji to say that they are they would rather use hardware-based controllers. So just one way to use this tool to learn what your audience feels like, to boost engagement, and you really have to exclusively live stream to Facebook in order for this to work properly. So now let me take you to livereactionspoll.com and let me just scroll back in this video here and show you from the beginning how to do this. So you go to livereactionspoll.com which we're sponsoring and trying to help them uh, create this web-based application for you. You hit the Create Now button, and what you need is your Facebook Live developer token and the post ID. Those are the two things you need, and they've made it so easy. You can just click Get Access Token, and you can see there, that's only part of my access token there. Uh, you know, don't worry, it's, it's, it's such a long key. Not, not everyone's gonna be able to see it or steal it, um, or use it, for example. Then you get your post ID. Let me show you how to do that. So you go to your Facebook video, and I'm just gonna use the same video as our example here. And basically, in the top part there, there's an ID. I believe it's a 16 digit uh, number. And it usually is, starts with a, a one. And you just copy that and paste it into your ID. Now if you're scheduling a live show that hasn't gone forward yet, which we do every week, you have to go to the embed uh, cog and grab the post ID there. Um, the other part of this is selecting the counters. So um, if you've downloaded our Facebook Live Reactions kit, you can go ahead and use up to six different counters and uh, that's what the, the web-based application will use for the emojis. The reason why those have been created that way is just in case Facebook doesn't update to their live streaming platform. The shout box is a really great little um, tool which integrates the comments into your stream. You could also use something like vMix Social, Wirecast also has a version of social media comment integration, but you can see here that you can just move around these uh, these buttons and where you want them. So what you're doing here, let me just pause it before we go live. Oh, it's okay, we went live. Is that you're basically getting a web page. So this create this web-based interface creates a web page for you. You take that link and you bring it in, in a, as a browser input, no matter what live streaming software you're using, including open broadcaster software, Wirecast, vMix, XSplit, even a TriCaster, you pull in, I think with a TriCaster, you might need to use a completely separate computer via HDMI with a web browser input there, but uh, you can use a web browser input, pull this page in, 
Then once you've done that, if you need to tweak the layout a little bit, you can just move these around and refresh. Now let's do a quick check to make sure this is all working. You can see here that um, we have 15 ha ha's, 12 likes, and 10 hearts on this live show. This was our live show, you know, a couple a couple weeks ago or last Friday. Um, so let's make sure that that information is properly pulling back into LiveReactionsPoll.com. So we go over here, and you can see that all the information is being pulled in properly. And when we go into vMix, Wirecast, XSplit, or OBS, that information will can be pulled in directly into your live streaming software and make for a very easy integration. I, I couldn't think of an easier integration for Facebook Live Reactions. And I know a lot of people don't want to use the server-based um, approach. The server-based approach I still like because sometimes this, this web-based application doesn't work for whatever reason. I don't know if there's a lot of people using it and the server gets overloaded and you got a, a show that has to have your Facebook Live Reaction. You might want to take that control into your own hands, host it on your own server. Once you get it down, the, 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 uh, what you're doing, all you have to do is change the post ID every time and recreate a web page, which is very simple for anyone with HTML skills. But if you don't have those HTML skills, we really wanted to show you this approach as well. Thank you so much for watching. All the links will be below of the things that I mentioned and check out our Friday show and more importantly, our Monday live show on Facebook, which uses this technology. Take care, everybody. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.